I'm going to be showing you how to renew an Apple certificate within the new Paskit portal. We've made a video before on how to add certificates, but this video is geared toward renewing certificates as certificates do expire, and if they are not renewed before they expire, you lose the ability to actually issue passes for Apple Wallet. So it's uh, critical to keep on top of your certificates and when they expire. So within the portal, inside of the certificates page in the account uh, route, first thing we need to do is find the certificate that we want to renew. So I'm going to renew this one. Let's click that button renew. You'll see a pop-up that comes up here. The process is kind of similar to how we add certificates in that we need to first get a CSR. If you already have a CSR, you can just click this button here and move on to the next bit. But uh, in case you don't, just click this download button here. This will download a certificate for you. And I'm going to leave this page here for now. And we're going to head over to the developer portal for Apple. and That's where we'll actually create uh, the new certificate. So inside of your Apple developer portal, once you log in, you'll be directed to this page here. And then you want to click the certificates, identifiers, and profiles option right here. That will take you to a page like this. And then on the left-hand side, we need to select identifiers. And then in this drop-down here on the right-hand side, we need to select pass type IDs, because those are the actual IDs that are underneath the actual certificate. Once we have that, then uh, you can search for uh, the actual certificate that you need. So mine just has this prefix in it, and this is my certificate that I want to renew. So if I click into this, now it brings me to a page like this. Now down here on the left hand side, just click create certificate. Uh, you can pass in a name if you'd like, but I'm just going to leave this blank for now. Pass type ID will be, will be fine for me. And then in the upload certificate sign-in request, this is where we need to pull in the file that we just downloaded. So what I'm going to do now is just grab this. So now I've selected my certificate sign and request, and now I want to continue. Now this is being processed, my certificate has been updated here, and then just click download. Now this is our renewed certificate. So now, if we jump back to the portal here, if I just take this, grab it in there, my certificate has been uploaded, and you should see the valid to date has been updated to the correct date in the future and you are all set. That's all, that's all you need to do. It's a simple process, but it uh, just does take a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of work inside the actual Apple developer portal. So hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.